Shepherd is pearl. Shepherd not one. Shepherd is pearl. Shepherd is one. All right? You got you you you, you here to learn something or you here to teach? Because we're not here to learn from you. I can I, I we can can't teach, teach a damn thing, bro. First I, I of all, you gotta get yourself you, correct. You gotta get yourself correct. You hot? Are you hot? Are you hot? Excuse me. What? My name is Free Boy Tyson God Love. Bro, bro, bro. Speak English, bro. My name is Free Boy Tyson God Love. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. I mean, I understand these guys, you know, passion about this, but this passion and zeal is the wrong way, man. This has nothing to do, 100% has nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, 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 come back, come back. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't got to touch me either. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't got to teach me. You ain't got to touch me. You ain't doing nothing. You're wrong neighborhood. All right, back up. Wrong neighborhood. We in the right neighborhood. Give me Luke 14 and 23, bro. The hell you talking about? We in the wrong neighborhood. This is some kind of gangster stuff, man. It's like a joke. It's all about entertainment, people. I mean,. Just watching these guys making a fool out of themselves is just entertainment. I mean, you could tell the way these guys, you know, always starting up a fight and things like that. And if you check, if you compare these guys with the Gospels in the book of Acts, in actuality, Peter and, uh, and John and all the other apostles, they actually used to get stoned by preaching the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, instead... These guys got all these people sitting next to them as a, their security guard and filming, filming themselves and stuff like that. It's all fleshly thing. It has nothing to do with the anointing and uh, with the Holy Spirit of God. It's just entertainment. You know, screaming at people, trying to get attention. It's all about getting a lot of views, but it's not really, the intention is not really looking to bring people closer to God. They're just looking for more viewers. But their intention has nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Now, there was this brother with the white shirt coming to them. If they were really after somebody's souls, if they really care for people, you know, that's not how they would have talked to the brother, man. You know what I mean? It's all a show. This is a joke. Man. Where the hell y'all think we come from, man? Listen to this, man. What kind of gospel is this? <laughs> Excuse me. This is a joke. What kind of gospel is this? You talking about this is the biblical gospel that I've read from the book of Acts? It has nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ, people. I'm just making these videos to, to expose these guys. I'm going to expose them to the core. Fact, give me Matthews 11 and 11, man. Y'all think we some... I mean, they pulling out, you know, quoting all these scriptures. They don't make no sense, man. It has nothing to do with the gospel. I mean, everybody, even Muslims, they can um, quote scriptures from the Bible, man. But that don't mean that they believe in the Bible. That don't mean that they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They believe that Jesus Christ was a great prophet. But they don't believe that he's the son of God. Now, these guys quoting verses, that's easy, man. Anybody can memorize verses and quote verses. But it has nothing to do with that, man. Now, Jesus said in, uh, in the book of Luke, I believe, he said in the, at the end, before he was ascended into heaven, he said, by laying hands on people and casting out demons... By showing signs and wonders, because they believe in him, but that will be the proof that they do believe in Christ Jesus. Matter of fact, let me pull that verse real quick. I hear this, folks. It's in Mark, actually. It's in Mark uh, chapter 16, the last chapter, verse, verse uh, 15. It says, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believe not shall be damned. 
And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, is it what these guys are doing in the streets? They are out there yelling at people, cursing people out, you know, being like, homophobics, bigots, screaming, using vulgar words, cursing, lying. I mean, you can name it, man. They're making a fool out of themselves. They are not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Wake up, people. Look at these dudes, man. This is like a new gang, man. I mean, this is the same like, like the KKK. Now, if you put the number KKK in numerology, what do you get? Let me show you. So if you put the number KKK in numerology, this is what you get. 11, 11, 11. Three times 11 give you 33. Mason. So I'm thinking these Hebrew Israelites are Masons. That's why they have the hexagram um, star. This is not the star of David that they be carrying. They are like the KKK because the KKK was the white people trying to kill blacks. Now we got the blacks people trying to kill whites. So it's all Satanism, 33. It's all the work of the Freemasonry. They are probably part of the Freemasonry. That's why now they're going after the white people trying to start a war. Are you with me, my people? Just listen to me. Pay attention. Be very careful with these guys. Don't fall for their false doctrine. This is the doctrine of the devil. It is not from the word of God. Damn Christian pastors. Are you crazy? That's right. Yo, give me Matthew. Look at this guy, man. This guy is cursing like a gangster, man. What's up with that? This is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm here to rebuke him. This is unbiblical. This is devilish. The Bible says, let not... Um, bad communication proceed out of your mouth The same mouth that is blessing Can you also curse with the same mouth This is from the devil From the pit of hell I don't care how many verses They quote out, the, or out of the Bible If you don't have the Holy Spirit of God You don't belong to God You are the child of the devil You can hold the Bible But you go into hell with the Bible in your hand If you don't have the Holy Spirit Even Masons have the Bible Even Satanists carry the Bible Even atheists carry the Bible You can quote all the verses you want Matter of fact, you can memorize the whole Bible It don't mean nothing If you do not have the Holy Spirit When you come out here to hear the Israelites speak, we're not out here no soft raiment. We out here dressed in a garment. Listen to this dude, man. Listen to the dude. He's so proud of himself, man. No, that's pride. Pride is from the devil. No humility. No love. No patience. No gentleness. You see, look at the spirit. It's showing you what kind of spirit he has in him. It has nothing to do with love. Dressed as men to bring forth the law. Read. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. Them cats who's wearing suits and gators, they up in the church. We ain't wearing that. We, we, we dress hard and we coming out here. And nothing wrong with somebody wearing suit, man. Stop hating, man. Stop being jealous. Maybe you're being jealous right now. There's nothing wrong with somebody wearing the suit and trying to dress nice. In fact, you guys should be wearing the suit. Because you look like a gang. All you guys wearing the same color uniform. The deal with the hard-headed people. You blacks and Hispanics are wicked as hell. And we coming in this community to teach y'all. How do you think they're going to reach people like that, man? That ain't going to work, man. That's just pushing people away. Ain't nobody going to tell us what we doing here. We born here. That's right. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I said to you, and more than a... The sad thing is, they do believe in their mind that they are the true Israelite. That's the sad thing. That's what the Bible says in, um, I believe, in 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. If, I'm, if I'm wrong, correct me. Maybe 1 Corinthians 4.4. 4. 
the God of this world is Satan. So the Satan has blinded the mind of them so that they can't see the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ and they're full of themselves. That's why they are out there doing this type of work just like the Jehovah's Witness. They are blind also. They think that they are doing the work of God. That's how Satan operates, my friend. That's why we need humility. We need guidance of the Holy Spirit so that you could know exactly if you are in the right path. That's why you have to work out your salvation with fear and trembling and pray to God. Do not trust in yourselves, the Bible says, but trust in the Lord and then he will guide your path. Anyway, God bless, subscribe, expose these fake Hebrew Israelites. Do not follow after them. They do not have the Holy Spirit of God. Look how they act. Look how they treat people. The Bible says you will know them by their fruits. God bless. Good night.